Okay, here are our ingredients for our vegetable soup. We have the first main ingredient, the stone, the magical stone for our stone soup. Then we have vegetable broth, olive oil, a can of corn, a can of white beans, a can of diced or cut up tomatoes. We have an onion, a zucchini, carrots, celery, and a bag of frozen green beans. And then for our spices, we have, this is a mix of oregano and thyme, red chili pepper flakes, minced or cut up garlic, and salt. So the tools that we are going to be needing to make our stone soup are a knife, a cutting board, a can opener, a measuring cup, a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a stirring spoon, and of course, a giant pot to make our soup in. Make sure you get all of your hands nice and clean with the soap. All right, to begin making our soup, we're gonna start with our first ingredient, which is an onion. Um, we are going to be cutting this onion up. So for a lot of you that have taken a cooking class with me before, some of you have been able to use a knife. Um, so for this lesson, we really want to make sure that nobody uses a knife unless there's an adult around. So now that the onion is cut in half and the ends are cut off so it's flat on both sides, you're going to make sure that when you or the adult in your house is cutting it, they're always having their fingers curled. So that way your fingertips aren't out and can't get accidentally cut. So these are about the size of the pieces that you want for the onion. So we need two tablespoons of olive oil to go in our pot. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of garlic. So you can use fresh garlic if you want, or you can use garlic that's already been cut up. So go ahead and add all the onions into the pot. All right, so while our onions are cooking, we are gonna add our next ingredient, which is a carrot, into little circles like this. All right, now that our onions have been cooking for eight minutes, we are gonna add our beautiful rainbow carrots into the pot as our next ingredient. So go ahead and just pour in all of the carrots. You're gonna let the carrots and the onions cook for two minutes. All right, now we're gonna add in the vegetable broth. So that was two cups and we need to add four cups. So now we're gonna add some of our spices into the soup. So I'm gonna do one teaspoon of this seasoning that has oregano and thyme and parsley in it. Because I like things spicy, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of red chili flakes into our soup. So one of the other ingredients that we have is a zucchini. I cut it up into little pieces like this. Alrighty, my friends, so now that we have the zucchini cut up and put into a bowl, we are going to cut up two pieces or two stalks of celery. So what I do with my celery is I cut it in half. You can put it together and just cut 
the celery into smaller pieces just like we did with the zucchini. Now that our soup has been setting for about 20 minutes, let's check on all of the vegetables. They're looking really good. Oh, can check on the stone. Also looking good. So now we're gonna add in our cut up zucchini and celery, frozen green beans. You could use fresh green beans or canned green beans. So you're just gonna dump those in there. You're gonna stir that around. Our final three ingredients that we need to add. We have a can of corn, we have a can of diced tomatoes, and we have a can of beans. Look at all those beautiful colors. So we're gonna add some yellow to our soup by putting a can of corn in here. Add some red by putting in some tomatoes. Add some of our white beans. Add a little bit of salt. A little bit goes a long way. And put the lid back on. Our stone soup has had plenty of time to cook. So once your vegetables all are ready, go ahead and get a bowl and you and your family can enjoy a giant bowl of stone soup. Oh, maybe you will get lucky enough to get the stone in your bowl of soup. <laughs>